study this diagram in front of you now this topic is on torsion of a circular bar so but obviously this is a circular bar in front of you so this circular bar is twisted by moment t acting on both the ends so now if t moment t is acting at both the ends then this becomes a case of pure torsion as there is no other effect taking place or no other load or condition on the body so it is pure tension okay now let us assume this the left hand end or the left end of the circular bar is fixed okay now before we go into further calculations there are some important considerations to observe uh, for this analysis the first consideration to have is that the cross section of the bar it remains plane and circular during the rotation so if you are looking at the cross section from this end it looks like a circle to you and it's plane okay now as it is being subjected to some torsion okay it will still remain circular and plane to you it will not change its shape as it will behave as a rigid body so this is one consideration that we take into account the second consideration is the angle of the twist okay the angle of the twist is very small so the length and the radius of the circular bar is also not changing so angle of twist is very very small okay so these two consideration we should always keep in mind while analyzing the torsion on a circular bar now then we have already assumed that the left end of the bar is fixed and the right hand and will rotate through a small angle let us say phi this is the angle through which the right hand end is rotating upon application of the mo of the torque t now if you look at this line n n this straight line n n this is a line on the surface and it is parallel to the longitudinal axis okay so nn is a line on surface along the longitudinal axis okay and phi is your angle of twist okay now what happens is when you are subjecting the right hand face to a torque t this point n will move to n dash this point will be fixed because as at this as this cannot move it is fixed so n will move to n dash and this will turn through a very small angle that is phi now because of this rotation what happens is something like this okay now what is this now if i go back to the previous uh, diagram this diagram has an element of length dx okay and this element is now illustrated in this diagram okay so what is happening uh, this is again a small element of length dx okay now you look at this element element a b c d now this element is a rectangular element okay and this element is lying on the surface it is lying on the surface of the bar okay now because this is being subjected to a twisting moment so it will twist so this point will shift to b dash and point c will shift to c dash and a and d cannot move because they are a part of the fixed end okay so this rectangle is now of something like this 
a shape like this okay initially it was of this shape okay so now it has been subjected to a shearing and it has become a b dash c dash d this shape is known as a rhomboid okay so this twisting has transformed the rectangular element a b c d into a rhomboid a b a b dash c dash d okay and this is occurring because of pure torsion which produces pure shearing there is no bending occurring at any cross section whatsoever okay now if you look at this this angle let us say this angle is gamma this angle is gamma this is b so this angle i am specifying as gamma so gamma is my shear strain okay and if i create a formula for this shear strain would be in triangle abb dash as bb dash upon ab this is the value of the shear strain okay now if you look at the value for bb dash this let us say this small angular displacement is d5 on this face and this is a small arc which is created and this is the radius okay so the length of the arc bb dash will be r into d5 and the length of the side ab is dx so if you plug these two values in this gamma would become r into d5 upon dx so this is the value of the shear strain okay